All right, so welcome to the channel, guys. It's Rad uh, from Radku Tarot, and uh, this is going to be a general reading for Aries, weekly one for October 5th to October 11th, 2020. And in case you are interested in a personal reading or you wish to take one of my tarot classes, uh, all the information you need in order to do either of these things, you can find in the description down below. So without further ado, let's jump straight away into the spread. Right, so the first card here uh, is going to describe the week itself, or that is the topic. And we do have the Three of Swords for you, followed by uh, the Nine of Cups. Um, so these two cards are kind of shows, uh, or they are describing some kind of an unexpected things that most likely, I'm saying most likely, are a baggage that you are carrying from from the past, but they but that baggage haven't made itself aware to you up until this point. So that that is that regards to a thing you experienced back in the days, you forgot about it, it was a long time ago, but now it reemerses again, no different than uh, an ex that you have not heard from for many, many years to come, now comes back into your life and kind of like provokes some kind of memories and etc, etc. All that those cards are pointing is that you are going to have some kind of a reasons to have a bad thoughts that are related to uh, certain aspects, most likely of your past, completely unexpected reasons, uh, but although a true reasons. And the solution to that is pretty simple. You just disregard, you just ignore those reasons whatsoever. So if that's an X, just don't talk to that X. It's as simple as that. And everything is gonna go back to normal. But if you do start feeding those reasons, then the poignant thoughts are gonna become stronger and stronger. Now those two cards here are pointing that you do have what to fight for in your current life. You do have a life, there is no reason for you to turn back to the past. Now another thing that those two cards are pointing as well, it is that there may be some kind of setbacks Okay, in regards to situations, uh, projects say, relationships say, whatever situations you do have, which setbacks you may kind of like imagine that they are actually bigger than they truly are. So instead of uh, seeing the problem as a trifle, which truly the problem is, you may see it as something rather quite indomitable to overcome. So don't judge the, how can I say, the thing by its shell, but actually, you know, have that mental clarity to, to give it a true analysis. But don't allow a thoughts that are making you feel bad to twist and tangle your mind because it's very likely that you are going to find yourself lost not knowing what to do while the answer is pretty simple ignore the thoughts all at once so the next one here shows what is going to hold you back and it is like you didn't had enough already um, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles uh, with the Strength Heart and uh, here it's the doubts of are your actions actually producing results, okay? So it could speak about the helplessness that you may, that you may experience in regards to if you are following the example that X, something drags you, you know, to talk with that X, to listen to them, to believe them, which is bad, okay? Those two cards here are pointing that should you show conscientiousness, should you show empathy, okay? Should you show interest to the Three of Swords thing? Well, that's really not good for your future development in regards to career, in regards to relationship, and especially if whatever comes from the past has a plan and you listen to that plan and you see reason in that plan, well, that for certain is going to be your downfall 
once you take a part of the plan itself. So this, that reading is a warning reading, okay, that whatever has been, whatever had, had taken place, it's in the past and it should stay where it belongs in the past. You do have your own future, okay? Uh, with the strength card here to the Eight of Pentacles, uh, I'm not going to dive into it, but these two cards are a passive neutrals, which points that you do have the, um, how can I say, you do have the uh, mobilization, you know, to withstand the temptation, but for, for some reason uh, you are not drawing from it or you're going to have a difficult time drawing from it and uh, it all comes to that can you see behind the curtains here and realize that whatever comes to you with the poignant thoughts um, is pretty much dragging you away from your future glee and exhilaration and as well from your future success <clears throat> for uh, with the Three of Swords, it's very likely that the main uh, that the main driving force of that thing that comes from the past is to make you feel guilty that it happened like this, okay? Say the ex makes you feel guilty that you broke up because of you, that you hurt them, and etc, etc. Even if that's the truth, it's, it was a long time ago, and you have to let it go, okay? Uh, next one, it is what helps you throughout the week. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles uh, with the Seven of uh, Wands. Truth be told, guys, if that was a private reading with a question, I could have just stopped right here. I don't need to see the other cards because they are just going to be a confirmational cards. And with these two here, we do have, first of all, the confirmation that you do have what it takes to withstand the temptation, the exterior influence and the battle within yourself. Okay, on top of it with the Ace of Pentacles, that card points that you are sitting on some kind of a path that it is your goal and you have to further that goal. You don't have to deviate from it to fix something that had been broken broken back in the days. You have to stick with the with the harmonious relationships you do have. You have to stick with the successful business endeavors that you do have. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything new, let alone you don't need something old that disguise itself as a something new, for it isn't. Okay, so um, <clears throat> with those two cards here, it's uh, it's pretty clear to me that you have chosen recently, let's say, or in the past one year, some kind of a goal, some kind of a uh, uh, a path for yourself, and you have to follow this path. No questions asked, because these two cards are pointing that you are just at a point where a significant progress is to be made and it will be such a shame if you do abandon this one for to chase some kind of fairy tales and to like said fix something that have been broken long long time ago and the last one here that we do have that will be how the week ends for you that will be the seven of pentacles uh, and it's going to be accompanied with the three of wands so unfortunately we could see that this influence that it will appear at the start of the week is not going to go away that easily it will still be lingering around you it will be wafting in the air at the end of the week with the seven of pentacles and the three of wands you still being doubtful you know which path you should take but at least at the end of the week should you follow these cards here or the guidance that tarot offers you for these two positions are all about guidance okay at least you are going to give a very very good thought about it is it worth it how much you are going to gain from it and how much have been asked from you to give up from or to invest so you can get some kind of results and at the end are those results will going to be reciprocal to what you are to invest because the investment doesn't have to be something you give in it could be something that you are giving up from you know giving up from your current marriage that it is harmonious to fix some kind of relationship you do have with an ex that is also on an investment okay 
although you are not investing into your ex, but you are giving up from yourself. And that is an investment, believe it or not. So with those two cards here, they are also contradictive in a sense of that you do have a solid patterns, you do have some kind of a, a solid foundation, and there is no reason from you whatsoever to abandon it at all. And in fact, those two cards here are urging you to see how you can improve on your current state and on your current situation for you can improve on it instead of once again rebuild something from the past. And on top of it, uh, they're pretty much pointing that, uh, how can I say it, that, um, well, I would say it that way, that a very good event is lurking just behind the corner that will further allow you to um, go forward with your goal, not that goal, this goal here that I was talking about with the Ace of Pentacles, and it will be once again it's such a shame if you do abandon all that for something that even if it works out, it was broken a long time ago. But again, that is a general reading. And if you do think that the past is worth it, by all means, do whatever suits you best. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.